robot vacuum is truly amazing. It can save you all kinds of time, but you know, you're gonna need something else to keep your home totally clean. Now, Narwhal sent me what's called the S10 Pro. And I said to them, hey, I'm not gonna make a video about this. It's not smart enough for you guys. Then I got it, I tried it, and I found out I was sorely mistaken. Now, I think this is a great option for a number of reasons, and I want to show you guys. And I'll show you why some of these other competitors are lacking what Narwhal has put on this. Their application of some of their robot vacuum technology has kind of put them in a class all on their own. The S10 Pro is what's commonly called a wet-dry vacuum. Now, they work really well on flooring, less so on carpets. Now, it does work on mats you have around your home, and it will work on low-pile carpets. But if you have those high-pile, thick carpets, it's not going to work with that. Now, it's just like a robot vacuum and mop combo unit in the sense that it can do both of those things at the same time. But watch, I'm going through these different things that you might spill in your home and it's like a single pass to clean up 99% of this stuff. And in a lot of cases, if you're spilling that kind of thing around your home, you don't want to send a robot vacuum. It might spread it around, make things worse. The whole process for getting started is quite amazing. You fill up the fresh water tank every month or so. Then you take it off the stand, set it down, and then you're gonna press this button. Now, you're probably gonna leave it in auto mode, and honestly, you're just gonna run over your mess one time. You might, in like a worst case scenario, run over two or three times if you put something crazy on the ground. The wild thing to me is that Narwhal is just cleaning with water. The other units I tested, they are using detergent. You're gonna have to continually replace those. Those often set off my air quality monitors with things like VOCs. So I really like that Narwhal is not bringing those products into my home. And honestly, as I read the different instruction manuals and the ingredients lists of those detergents, I didn't want them in my home, and they even said they could ruin certain types of flooring. Now, instead of using those detergents, Narwhal is using what's called electrolyzed water. Now, this is created automatically in the fresh water tank. And then that is applied to your floor as they move along, mopping and sucking up the debris. Crazy enough, you're probably going to be able to do your whole home on a single charge. I've been around my whole home, done a whole home clean, and haven't been below 50%. I like that I'm able to just go over different mats. I like that the auto mode adjusts for the amount of suction and water it needs. I like that I can do carpets with just suction mode turned on so I'm not putting down a lot of water. And I also like that any water that is being applied to the floors is dried up in a few minutes because of how it's being applied. I love how it's not leaving streaks and I love how it's tackling some of the biggest messes that we've thrown at it and we've thrown some huge ones at this. Now there's two things that might catch you here. Uh, I think the first is the size of debris that you can pick up. Now, we got up to an M&M mini size. I don't think you're going to get much bigger than that. You're also obviously not going to be able to do those high pile carpets, but just about every other type of flooring, this has performed really well on. Once you're done cleaning, the device cleans itself. Now, you put it in the charging station, and then you press this button. Starting roll brush and dirty water tank filter drying. Okay, and now it's heating up this pad, and it's drying out the roller brush. Plus, through this process, it cleans this base station a little bit. So you don't end up with this being gross at any time, and there's no real maintenance. Your only real job is to replace the roller after about 
six months. And then to empty the dirty water and the debris bin.